strings can be a little bit tricky, especially when you're working with stock sounds. Here's what my chord progression originally sounded like. And here's where we're going to take it, still using free libraries. Let's start from the beginning. Paid libraries can sound incredible, but honestly, free ones can get you surprisingly far. For this video, I'm using Spitfire's Discovery Library and the Free Berlin Orchestra. One of the biggest differences between MIDI block chords and realistic strings is how the notes move between chords. Think of each instrument like a singer. They prefer small, smooth steps instead of jumping around. If each part moves naturally, the whole progression feels more connected. Piano chords often keep everything close together, but strings usually sound better when you space them out a bit. A simple rule is keep the low instruments more spread and the upper instruments closer together. This gives the arrangements more space and warmth. Now, let's actually split the chords into string sections. Basses, cellos, violas, and violins. This is where orchestral libraries shine. Each group has its own tone, its own range, and using all four adds depth instantly. And now we can bring the melody back on top. Next, humanization. Real players never hit every note perfectly on the grid. You can record them on a MIDI keyboard. But drawing it works too. Small imperfections makes it sound played and not programmed. And this is important if you want your strings to sound realistic. This is the step that changes everything. Dynamics. Strings are all about movement. Even a soft swell can make the whole passage feel alive. Most free libraries let you control this with the mod wheel or by drawing curves in the piano roll. And to top it all off, I add a solo violin and an ensemble patch to create more fullness. And to glue it all together, add a gentle reverb. And this is where we ended up. And in the end, if your library has them, try experimenting with different articulations. Try automating the vibratos, the expression. It's not required, but it adds even more personality. Hello.